Good morning, everybody. I thought I would start doing hair videos because a lot of people have been asking me questions like, how do I keep my long hair healthy? Why did I grow my hair this long? How did I grow it this long in the first place? So about my hair, according to the FIA hair typing system, my hair is 1BC triple I. Out of all the classification systems, I consider the FIA hair typing system to be the most thorough, educated way to describe hair. The first classifier, 1B, means that my hair is straight with a slight body wave. It's just enough to add volume, but it doesn't look wavy at all. The second classifier, C, stands for coarse. I have thick, coarse hair strands. If I roll a strand between my fingers, I can hear it and it actually feels like it has some substance. The third classifier, triple I, means that my hair is thick, that it's more than 4 inches or 10 centimeters thick. So this is what my hair looks like up close. My hair has quite a bit of volume, but you don't see it because it's all stretched out. It's so long that the weight of it just pulls my roots straight down. But if I were to cut my hair, which I won't, it would actually be pretty big and my ponytail is very thick as you can see. My hair likes to tangle if it's too dry, so I keep it moisturized just enough, but not so much that it looks oily. I like to joke that I have multiple personality hair because different hair strands like to do different things. Some parts of my hair are straighter than others, some are kinky, and my babies, well, they like to do their own thing. And no, it doesn't depend on whether or not I'm having a bad hair day. On bad hair days, I actually just have to leave my hair be because it won't cooperate at all no matter what, even though my hair is considered glassy by industry professionals. So here's my long hair story. I've been growing my hair since 1996, so for about 17 years now. My hair started off at chin length and I hated it because living in San Francisco is cold and windy without a blanket covering the back of my neck. I thought I looked like a boy and an ugly duckling, so my hair will never again be shorter than waist length. When I started my hair growing journey, I went through different phases. I started growing it out of rebellion and because I wanted warmth on the back of my neck again. After a few years, I started to feel beautiful and took pride in keeping my hair looking nice. A few years after that, I felt like I was part of the long hair club in school. I was one of four girls with hair past our waists. My long hair was also very fitting because I was part of the hula Tahitian dance club. I remember the first time that I was able to sit on my hair. I was so excited about it. But when I went to college, I was so focused on my studies that I didn't really think about my hair. I kept it in braids and treated it like my twin sister. I was, and I still am, extremely active. I worked out all the time and I loved playing sports, but I didn't want to give up my long hair. So I keep it in braids like this. I did have a pretty big haircut at the end of 2004, though. If you're wondering how long my hair was before I had it cut, my hair was down to my ankles, and I had a cat that loved to bite my hair. Oh, yes, he did. You see, at the time, whenever I sat down, my hair grazed the ground. I didn't realize it because my hair is behind my shoulders most of the time. My hair is mostly straight, and to a cat, it looks like string. <laughs> so... One day, I was sitting on a chair reading a book, and all of a sudden I feel a little tickle on my scalp. I scratched it and I thought nothing of it. Then I felt a little tickle on another part of my scalp, and then it hit me. Tiger, my devious little tabby kitty cat, was biting off sections of hair this long. 
Bad kitty. Well, I had been thinking about shorter hair for a while, so I kind of saw his behavior as a good opportunity, a good kickstart for me. I wanted shorter, but not too short hair because I like the way long hair looks and makes me feel. I promise I will never cut my hair shorter than my waist, ever. So I went to visit my family for Thanksgiving and I didn't say anything about cutting my hair. When I got back to school, I trusted my hairstylist roommate with cutting my hair to my waist. I don't remember exactly how many inches I had taken off, but I donated it all to Locks of Love. Then I visited my family for Christmas and waited to see how long it would take them to realize my big chop. One whole hour went by and then one of my aunts screamed about my short hair and everyone just had to look. It was a really funny conversation starter because usually people start talking to me about my hair because it's long, not because it's short. I haven't had a giant chop since then. I do get regular trims though. In the early stages of growing my hair, I had it cut one inch every six months or so. It wasn't nearly often enough and the ends of my hair grew thin. The past few years, I've had it cut one uh, half inch every two months or one inch every three months and it kept growing at the same rate, but the overall length grew slower, obviously. This year, I'm dusting it off every full moon. I've actually always had it cut around the full moon because the pull of the moon affects the speed of hair growth. I don't really know how fast my hair grows, particularly because I don't measure it every month. I measure it maybe every six months or so. I don't know if my hair grows half an inch like most people or an inch or anything like that, but I do know that it grows faster than 12 inches per year. The bangs are relatively new. Since growing my hair out, it's always been one length. In 2009, I decided to go for a big cut and get bangs because I was tired of my hair always covering my shoulders like this. It was really heavy in the front and never wanted to stay out of my face. I was ready to be seen by the world and have something to play with when my hair is in an updo. I love the long bangs grazing my jawline. A while ago, a hairstylist at a new salon I wanted to try out didn't understand my requests to keep my bangs the way they were. So she chopped them all right off to the middle of my forehead. Oh, the blunt bangs looked horribly childish, but I tried to make the best of it while I waited for them to grow out. I recommend that you do not go for the cheapest salons but instead go for quality services. Or you can cut your own hair like I do now. Also, you should make sure that your hairstylist understands your requests before she grabs the scissors. I prefer to have a more classic look with long face framing bangs that I can hide in my thick ponytail if I want to. Well, thank you so much for watching my long hair story. I'll see you next time. Mwah.